Peace be upon you and all that, innit? Smile to Jeddah! <laughs> Me? I'm born and bred in this country, mate. Nah, uh, not Warbatons. Gotta be Kingsmill, mate, yeah? Been through the state schools, supporting the national teams, and paying my taxes. Since I've done the videos against Tommy Robinson, where hey, I was just speaking the facts. I got accused of a few things by Tommy Robinson's fans. Namely, number one, not being a true Brit. Whatever that means. Number two, something to do with the English language or whatever. And number three, other patriotic nonsense. Now here's my guide to re-evaluating the values of the Tommy Robinson fans that they use to bully others about being truly British. Number one, it's the English language mate. Surely you can't get more British than the English language. Upon closer inspection, English is actually a mixture of Norse, French, Latin and German with very few words that are attributable attributable to the original inhabitants of the British Isles. Oh yeah, and its roots get traced back to Germany and Mesopotamia. Mesopotamia is modern day Iraq, Iran, oh sorry, Iraq, Iran, Syria and Turkey. Number two, let's move on to the flag of England. Surely there's nothing more English than our flag mate, yeah? Now our flag is also known as the flag of St George. Now let's have a look at St George here mate, yeah? St George was actually a Palestinian. I am not making this up. And at the time of the Romans, he refused to fight the Christians, therefore he was killed. So according to the Christian faith, he was a martyr. Now this story was a bit boring for some people, so they made up this make-believe story where they turned him into a knight and there was an imaginary dragon and King George fought this imaginary dragon and slayed it. But if we were to look at the facts, he wasn't really a knight, he wasn't really a slayer of dragons, nor was he really truly a Brit. Let's move on to the third point. The unofficial national anthem of this country is Jerusalem. As many of you know, this country is meant to be Protestant Christian and what's really cheesed us off is the fact that Jesus was from the Middle East and he never set foot in England. That's never stopped us right here mate. If you look at the lyrics of Jerusalem, let's have a look. And did those feet in ancient time walk upon England's mountain green? And was the Holy Lamb of God on England's pleasant pastures seen? What? Did Jesus come to England? No he did not. Ever. Not even by mistake. Then why on earth are you claiming that he did? I don't know. <laughs> Best to ask these England fans when they go with the flags of St George the Palestinian and speaking the language originated from Germany and Mesopotamia. So the next time you Tommy Robinson fans come across someone that looks a bit different to you despite being born in this country and you accuse him of not being British. Well not being as British as you. Just consider what being British really is and maybe, just maybe, that will humble you a little bit. My racist, bigoted, Tommy Robinson fan. Anyways guys, until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.